Okay, so I wanted to do a video today on something that I've wanted to talk about for quite some time now. And that is that I get a lot of videos, or a lot of comments on my videos from people saying that their cats tend to try to bite them when they pick when they try to pick them up or when they try to pet them. And most people want advice on how to deal with this and yada yada so forth. So this video today is going to be about us learning what consent is and how your animal does not have to constantly give it to you. Animals do not understand the concept of ownership. You own your pets, whatever you want to call it. You are in charge of feeding them, giving them love, litter, vet appointments or whatever and that is something you signed up for that is not something they signed up for they did not want you to buy them they did not want to be owned they don't know what ownership is so to them you are the person that takes care of them for no reason they expect it out of you but they do not expect you to want a price for it our cats are still living beings and just like all living beings, they have the ability to consent and not consent to certain things. That includes touch and that includes love. Your cats don't have to love you. There is nothing in their rule book that says that they have to love you. That is something that you 100% push on them because you think that you own them. Essentially, that's what it is. And... We as humans need to learn that just because we own them does not mean that we get to touch them. I work with a lady who has two cats. She tells me these cats are feral, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I was like, okay, whatever. And she's telling me more about these cats. And she's like, yeah, I can, I can pet them, but I can't pick them up. I'm like, so you can love them and give them affection and they return it. But because you can't physically pick them up, you are saying that they are feral. Like, they aren't required to let you pick them up. Not all animals feel comfortable with that, and there's nothing wrong with that. You shouldn't force that on them. And so, my number one advice... Thank you. I didn't consent to that. My number one advice for people who have animals that don't want them, or who nip at them when they pick them up or when they touch them, is to ignore them. Your cats are clearly telling you that they don't want to be touched and you are constantly reinforcing, I'm going to touch you regardless of what you say. You have to understand your animal's body language and what they do and don't want. That could be crouching when you come near them. When you hold your hand out, do their ears go back? Do they back away like this? Are they actively telling you, please don't touch me, but you do it anyway and then they bite you? So when you ignore your pet, you are allowing your pet to have the opportunity to rebuild that bond with you as opposed to just reinforcing the fact that they need to be afraid of you and they need to stay away from you because you're always going to touch them regardless of what they want you give them the opportunity to say hey this person hasn't look how cute you are you think you bubbles hey this person hasn't touched me for a while maybe i would i would like that and so you ignore them for, for some cats it can be a couple of days, for some cats it can be a couple of weeks, for some cats it can be a couple of months. It depends on how long you honestly pester them for. Because to them, that's what it is. If your cat is constantly telling you don't touch me and you touch them, then they are going to see you as something that is annoying and that they don't want to be around. So if you ignore that, you're giving your cat the chance to reopen themselves up to loving you again. And animals are incredibly forgiving. And more than likely, they are going to eventually want you to touch them. And that could be as simple as them walking up to you and rubbing up on your leg. I have feral cats here who are still considered feral that I cannot touch, I cannot pick up, but will occasionally rub up on my leg. If I go to touch them, they will run away. And then they'll look at me like, like, I'm sorry, I thought that maybe you would want me to pet you, but now I understand that you would like to give me affection, but you do not exactly want to receive it. And I think that's why I do so well with ferals, is because I allow them to tame themselves. You cannot take a cat and force it to love you. It doesn't always work out that way. And that is where some rescuers fail, is that they take in ferals, and they're constantly trying to hold them. They're constantly trying to touch them. And the feral cats are like, okay, I really need to stay away from this person. They're freaking crazy. They're always trying to touch me. They're always trying to be near me. They're always wanting to 
do things that I don't want them to do. So I'm not going to like them. That's how they're going to see you. So again, the, the advice I have for if your cat is nipping you, ignore them. Let them come to you. Your love will be appreciated and wanted then and not seen as a threat or something they don't want. And eventually over time, if you keep just allowing your cat to come to you, they will eventually start to see you as something good. Don't force your cat to be petted. Don't force your cat to be held. Just let them in their own time come to you. And in the meantime, still play with your cat uh, via a feather toy or a laser pointer. Give them some sort of interaction with yourself. Just don't use your hands. Don't come near them. Don't stand up too quick near them. Just allow them to come to you. Like you would a person. You don't just force yourself on another person. You just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, we're best friends now. We're, we're cool as shit now. No, you, you build a relationship with a person just like you would a cat. So that is pretty much my number one advice for dealing with cats who are, who don't want your affection, pretty much.